So welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to do a man Whitney U test on Jamovi. So we're going to use this test when we have an independent categorical between subjects or between participants variable comprised of two levels and when we have an ordinal or continuous dependent variable. So for this example, let's imagine that we have two groups, each comprised of 10 participants. So we've got 10 participants here represented by the number zero, and we have 10 participants here represented by the number one. So let's imagine that 10 represents placebo and one represents treatment. And we can imagine that we're interested in the levels of stress experienced by those in the placebo condition and by those in the treatment condition. So I'm going to start off by selecting these data. I'm going to hit Control C or Command C to copy those data. I'll then go over to Jamovi and I've got the top left cell selected in this file. So I will go to Command or Control V to paste those data in. I can then tell Jamovi what these variables are. So I'm going to go up to Data at the top here and then down to Setup. And then if I click on the top of this A column, I can tell Jamovi what the independent variable is. So let's call that something like group. And we can see that in this measure type menu, we already have nominal selected. So nominal is kind of another word for categorical. So that's an accurate description of the independent variable that we have. So we don't need to change anything there. We can tell Jamovi what the levels of this independent variable are. So if I select the zero here, I'm going to say that zero equals placebo and that one equals treatment. And if I just click enter, we can see that those zeros and those ones are replaced by the words placebo and treatment. So we've told Jamovi what the independent variable is. So let's tell it what the dependent variable is. So I'm going to select this B bit here and I'm gonna remove the letter B and replace that with a description of the dependent variable. So let's call that something like stress. We can see that measure type, uh, in this measure type menu, we have nominal selected, but let's say that this is actually a continuous variable. So we can actually do the man when EU test with a continuous variable or with a ordinal dependent variable. But I'm gonna select continuous. So once we've entered the data, we are ready to run the analysis. So if we go up to analyses and then down to t-tests and then down to independent samples t-tests, we're going to transfer the independent variable to the grouping variable box and the dependent variable to the depend dependent variables box. I'm going to untick students because that's going to run a t-test for us and we want to run a manual EU test. So we will unselect that and then we'll go down to man with an EU and select that box. I'm also going to select this effect size statistics box as well as this descriptive box here. So we can see now that we have medians generated for both these groups. So we can see that the median score for stress in the placebo condition was seven and that the median score for stress in the treatment condition was five. So we can see that stress was higher in the placebo group compared to the treatment group. And if we take a look at the man whitney u bits of this output, we can check whether this difference between the two groups was significant. So the main thing that we're interested in is this p-value, and we want to see that this is below 0 0.005, as that indicates that the difference is significant. So we can see here that we have a value of 0 0.006, so this is less than 0 0.05, indicating that there's a significant difference between the placebo and treatment groups with respect to stress. So that's how to interpret the results. So let's just take a quick look at how to report them. So we have these example results here. So I'm just saying that a man with a U test revealed that stress scores were significantly lower in the treatment group compared to the placebo group. And within this, I've just inserted the median and the number of participants in each group. So the median, just to refresh our memories, comes from this table here. So treatment group is five and placebo is seven. And we know that we have 10 people in each condition. So those are these values here, median equals five, 10 people in the treatment group, median for the placebo group is seven, and we have 10 people in that group as well. 
Next, I've reported this U value, so U equals 13.50. That comes from this table at the top, so man, when U statistic, 13.5. And next, we've got the P value, P equals 0 0.006, and that's coming from this bit of the same table. And finally, we have this rank by serial correlation effect size value, so we've got 0 0.730. And that's what I've reported at the end of the sentence here. So I've said that the effect size was large and I've just rounded that value to two decimal places. And this isn't part of the results. This is just a note about how to interpret the results of this value here. So I've said that values between 0 and 0.1 represent very small effects. Values between 0.1 and 3 represent small effects. Values between 0.3 and 0.5 represent medium effects and values above 0.5 represent large effects. So this value here obviously is above 0.5, so I've said that it represents a large effect. So that's basically it for the man Whitney U test on Jamovi. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will try to get back to you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.